let's first take a step back and say that Apple is just clearly behind uh, on this one, right? And you can see it in their products. We're all using ChatGPT and talking to it and having profound conversations. And we go to Siri and it can barely call my mother. So obviously we're not playing at the same level. Now, if you take a step back, the biggest risk to Apple, Apple says, well, we're not seeing it in our revenue, right? We're still selling phones. Apple's Apple's franchise is the iPhone franchise. And what keeps you using the iPhone? Well, at the end of the day, it's the apps on the phone. And that moat of a the camera. Of for, but anyway, yeah. Sorry? I think it's the camera. But yes, no, it's, it's the, the camera. Too. Okay. Yes. But the camera is easy for others to replicate, whereas the apps are very hard for others to replicate. Or a, a better way to say it is they used to be hard. Right now, Thanks to AI being able to write any app in a few minutes, thanks to this model context protocol, this MCP technology that everyone's standardizing upon, yep. we're getting towards a world. We're not there yet, but we're getting towards a world where you could launch a phone tomorrow that can kind of do anything any of the apps can do, even though those million app providers never built the apps for your phone. Are so we really, though? I mean, you and I have been in this Silicon Valley world since about 10 different things were going to kill the app ecosystem. I mean, yes, it seems like we're facing the biggest threat yet, but w what are you seeing? You invest in a number of startups, right? What are you seeing that makes you think that MCP and agents are, are the ultimate threat to app? Yeah, it's almost what you're not seeing. You're seeing almost every founder sit there and, and shiver in their boots that the next ChatGPT model is just going to do what their entire company and app has done. You're seeing VCs say, uh-oh, I don't want to invest into the app layer because all of this is going to get eaten alive. And then you see engineers, whether it's myself or others, that are coding, and we're sitting there with Cloud Code, and Cloud Code can use MCP to hit almost any service. It can hit Slack, but it doesn't have its own Slack. It can hit iMessage, but it doesn't have its own iMessage app. And so what you're realizing is that the capabilities of these models are not only growing organically from the training inside of them, but their ability to use tools is not only expanding linearly, it's, it's expanding exponentially.